a show of unity and strength. Indonesia and the US have held annual military exercises for more than a decade. But this year is different as the exercises expand to include other countries in Asia Pacific. Really, there's just a thirst, I think, in the region for people to come together, for uh, armies and uh, militaries to come together to, uh, to do this kind of combined training. And uh, when we're together like this, we're stronger. When we're together working, we're, uh, we become better joint partners. Troops will participate in live fire exercises, medical training, search and rescue operations, amphibious exercises and more. In its 16th iteration, the Garuda Shield exercises have expanded with its largest ever roster of participants and a number of countries participating for the first time. Japan is among those countries, including in paratrooper training here in South Sumatra. Australia and Singapore are also taking part. And other countries, including France, South Korea and India, are invited to observe the two-week drills. The exercises are happening at a time of growing concerns among the US and its allies about China's military assertiveness on issues such as Taiwan and the South China Sea. Washington is trying to project confidence in the existing international order and take steps to help ensure it, because the US neglected China's unilateral behaviour for a very long time, and now they are making more of an effort to be able to respond militarily to China in that regard. Indonesia is not a U.S. ally and has long pursued a foreign policy which it describes as free and active. But it has also pushed back against China's maritime incursions into its waters. Journalists here asked the Indonesian Armed Forces Commander Andika Perkasa whether the exercises were intended to send a message to Beijing. Not at all. We have always done this training. If someone wants to read it that way, well, that's not our intention at all. These drills involving several countries will continue until mid-August. Jessica Washington, Al Jazeera, Baturaja, Indonesia.